Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Most of us have been vaccinated for COVID according to state numbers, but not all. Well, should employers be able to discipline or fire workers who refuse the shot? A state lawmaker says no, and a number of people at his rally today agree with that. Dennis Owens reports from the Capitol. So it's just tyranny in another form, isn't it? It's a sad day that we have to stand here and fight for our medical freedom in America. A rally in support of Doug Mastriano's bill that would prohibit the state and employers from forcing workers to get vaccinated. That I have to move legislation here for medical freedom is just disgusting to me. It should be a given that you have this choice here. Everyone still has the basic human right of deciding what goes into their bodies. Husband and wife airline pilots with six kids spoke. They were put on unpaid leave for not getting vaxxed. They're suing. We have to be given a, a reasonable accommodation, and that's all we're asking for. There's also concern that health care workers and emergency personnel will quit if forced to get vaxxed. When you call 911 and nobody answers the phone, what are you going to do? Well, I find that very unfortunate that an elected official would take such a stand. State Rep Mary Isaacson, a Democrat from Philly, says the health of Pennsylvanians should be job one for lawmakers. We have vaccines so that we can make sure we have a safe society. And for those who don't want to get vaccinated, well, you can stay on your own property. You shouldn't be out in society spreading diseases. It's not about the vaccine. It's about your choice. Informed consent or informed refusal. It's as simple as that. In a statement, the governor's office reminded it does not have a vaccine mandate, but rather a vaccine or test program. It called Mastriano's legislation meaningless and ideology driven. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.